We've talked before on the show about a change that so many people want to make, and that's to quit smoking. It's definitely not easy to do, but it's something that can be done. Now, if you want to quit and you want to stay quit, it's important to know what you're up against and also where you can go to get help. There's an amazing group right here in Monroe County called Quit Smoking Now, and they are ready to help you get closer to that goal. Jeff, thank you for being back on the show today. Thank mm -hmm. you. As a matter of fact, you're mentioning how many people want to quit smoking. There's so many statistics on everything, and the statistics are that 40% of everybody that smokes would like to quit. So, mm -hmm. of course, that leaves a good portion that don't want to quit. Right. But and there is that silver lining of the 40% who do want to quit. That's so. true. <laughs> and we're down to, at one time, it was over 20% of Floridians that smoke. We're now down to less than 16%, or a little over 16%, okay. about 16.5% of people smoke now. Well, good. Now, Jeff, tell our viewers who don't know about Quit Smoking Now a little bit about it. Quit Smoking Now is under the auspices of AHEC, which stands for the Area Health Education Council. It's a grant-funded organization, and we are actually funded by large tobacco company through a large uh, lawsuit uh, between the state of Florida and the tobacco companies. And we have centers throughout Florida to help you quit smoking. If you're one of those 40% and you're even curious about quitting smoking, we can certainly help you. Now, you do seminars right here in the Keys, too, don't you, Jeff? We do. We, have, we, have, we meet one-on-one -on -one with people that are quitting once a week. They get their product for free to help them quit smoking, and we meet individually with the people. We meet with people in Key West, in Big Pine, Marathon, and throughout the Keys. Now, Jeff, something that I've heard about that people who are trying to quit smoking use are the e-cigarettes. Do those work? Do they? The e-cigarettes have become really popular because, like everything else, they're easy. In reality, if you read the package on the e-cigarettes, it says right on the packaging, these are not designed as a smoking cessation product. Um, they make a cool little glow. They have a vapor trail that comes out of them, so it'll feel like you're smoking, but they do not help people to quit smoking. They're not FDA approved. There's no control over the amount of the nicotine that is contained in the e-cigarettes. Sometimes the fact that they look like cigarettes, they get confused with another product, which is made by Nicotrol, the same company that makes the patches. And that product is called inhalers, which is really a misnomer because you don't inhale them. Mm -hmm. We refer to them as puffers. But they do work quite well for helping people to stop smoking. They contain nicotine. Most of the products that will help you to quit smoking do contain nicotine. So your first process in quitting is to get rid of the smoking. Mm -hmm. Then the next process is getting rid of the nicotine. Mm -hmm. There's like 4,000 other chemicals in a cigarette besides the nicotine. Right. Nicotine is the least dangerous, mm -hmm. but it's the addictive chemical. So okay. we'll deal with all the other chemicals <laughs> first. So Jeff, the inhalers are much more effective than the e-cigarettes. Yes, even though the inhalers and the e-cigarettes both resemble cigarettes, uh, the inhalers are meant specifically as a nicotine delivery system to help you get over the nicotine addiction. They're not there as a substitute for cigarettes. So if people are wanting to quit, it's important to maybe take that step first? Uh, I would follow the advice of your counselor. Once they're in a group, they can be used in conjunction with patches. They can be used in conjunction with lozenges and chewing gum. That's one of the advantages of going through the group because we work with a variety of different products to help you not only quit, but to live a life smoke-free. Jeff, I understand that you have a big health fair coming up. We do. It's part of the Area Health Education Council and the University of Miami, the Miller School of Medicine. This health fair is going on throughout the Keys. It will be this Saturday in Key West, Big Pine, and Marathon. And i got to look real quickly at the notes. In Key West, it will be at the Key West High School, in Marathon at Fisherman's Community Hospital, and up in Big Pine, at the Methodist and Baptist churches. Same hours at all three locations, which will be 9 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And if you use the excuse of not being able to afford to go to the doctor to get your tests, your excuses are over. Mm -hmm. They have vision tests, skin cancer, pap smears, HIV testing, bone density, 
I'm not going to read the whole list. There's quite a few. We have the smoking cessation will be there, and male and female exams, vaccines, blood glucose tests, and uh, blood cholesterol will all be available for testing. Wow. Uh, that's a great thing. This is the 42nd annual time that they've done this. And the cost involved in this? Zero. Uh. So you don't have the expense. Yeah, anymore. yeah, no, there's there's no expense. They they even have some health foods like donuts, coffee. <laughs> Very healthy. <Yes. laughs> no, but this is great. Anybody who wants to make that step to get closer to a smoke-free life can definitely attend this health fair. And I know that just being around people who want to help will will get you closer. Definitely, definitely. And we're making great inroads here in the Keys. Anybody that's listening that has even slightly considered smoking, please give us a call or come into a group or both. Jeff, thank you for being back on the show. We'll have you back on much more in the future. Thank you, Jana. I'll be right back after these messages with Tom and Mr. Hoffman Color. Stay with me.